G'day fellas, welcome back to another video in the Improvement Checklist Build Order Overview. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Spanish Build Orders. We're going to be starting off with a Land Build Order and then moving into a Water Build Order towards the middle of the video. Both of these Build Orders are going to be with the Logistician, so let's get into it. Starting off, we're going to be moving our villagers over onto the Food Crates. Let's get to it now. Just microing a couple of those villagers, getting them onto the individual food crates. Explorer coming down towards the trading post. And now moving our villagers over to the wood crates so that we can build that trading post in time before our explorer gets there. We're going to be scouting out with our war dog. And now dropping down that trading post. Let's get these villagers out. So we're sending four of them, or five of them rather, to, uh, to wood. And the rest of them are going to be going over onto food. So what we want to be doing in the first age is gathering up a hundred wood. We're going to be dropping down a house uh, with that with that wood. And then that's in addition to our trading post that we're going to be taking in the first age as well with our explorer. So now our, our explorer is up. He's going to do a little bit of scouting as well. Now keep in mind, I'm not going to be taking any treasures in this mode or in this, uh, in this game at all. Just to demonstrate that I can do this uh, without treasures, and I want you guys to use that as a reference point. Keep in mind that any kind of treasure is going to help us out a huge amount. So as an example, that's a 70 coin treasure, so a very, very nice treasure there. So we're going to be moving over our villages now from the wood line. Going to be dropping down that house as well. Let's pick our deck. So we're going with a land 1v1 deck. So this deck is, or this strategy is a little bit more economic than most logistician plays. Most logistician plays that you guys will be familiar with are going to be focused on either rushing to the fortress age or rushing your opponent. This one's a bit more economic, so the idea is that we want to get our market upgrades in. The idea is that we really want to just have an, a pretty decent economy as the Spanish. And so we'll demonstrate exactly how we're going to be doing that uh, with this build order. So now, moving forward to the north side of the map, uh, keep in mind, as I mentioned before, we're not going to be taking any of these treasures, but we can go kill a couple of guardians. So I think we might kill a couple coyotes, just so we get our shipments in a little bit faster. Got the three villagers about to arrive in now. In they pop. Actually, get them out over here. Make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Oh, he's, he's over here as well. All right, mate, you can have that. That's all yours. We'll, we'll give it to you. We'll let you have it. All right, so now continuing to scout around the map. And the idea is that we want to get up to that 900 food as quickly as possible. So we're not going to be doing any form of uh, gathering or any form of herding in the first age. We're just going to be using this starting hunt to make sure that we are gathering all of those resources for our age up. Because if we're walking out here and start herding in this hunt or that hunt, those are resources that we should be aging up with. And, and we might be missing out the entire time. Did he not pick out that treasure? Oh, no, he did. He did. All right, mate. And so now we're pausing at 15 villages and we're only gathering resources. You can queue another villager here, but typically if you do, you're going to be up a little bit late. So I prefer not to do it. Uh, I, I prefer just to go up with, with 15 villages and, and idle it a, a fair bit. Now you do idle for about, I think it's about 25, 30 seconds here. Uh, don't be too alarmed by that. It is going to be paid up more than enough. Uh, when it comes to the logistician and, and the way the logistician works. So let's go up with the logistician. Now moving all of our villagers over onto wood. We're going to just move a couple of them over onto food. Just four or five. Probably not even. Uh, onto, onto coin rather. Uh, just a couple. Now I wouldn't normally have to do that. Because I would have the beaver in base. Which would be doing all my work for me. And uh, and helping me out. So now I'm going to also begin herding in some of these hunts. That we've got around our base. So we'll go down here. Herd this one in as well. We're going to be dropping down a market. And we're going to be aiming to get hunting dogs in as our first uh, research. Now, we're going to be sending in a shipment as well. So the shipment, we're going to be timing it between the I and the O. That is when we want to be sending our shipment in. Any earlier than that, and we're not going to be getting the bonus from the logistician age up. So now grabbing that hunting dogs upgrade. That's that's essentially all we need. Uh, we might gather just another, uh, another 25. So there we go. So that's going to give us enough for uh, steel traps once we get up to the next age. Uh, we've delayed sending our uh, shipment a little bit so that's okay ideally we would have sent it about here so it looks like we might be about maybe six or seven seconds a little bit late that's okay sometimes we do make mistakes even even uh even youtubers make mistakes i guess you could say so uh that's all right uh so now what we're going to be doing is we're saving up for our first barracks that we're going to be dropping down so we might even do a little bit of a forward barracks here it looks like we've got a bit of action over here uh, and so the logistician is coming in we're sending in capitalism as the first card and now we're going to be moving all of our villages over. Uh, so we've got enough enough resources for that house. Uh, dropping that down. And our first card that we're going to be sending in is Furia from the home city. And uh, and now, so we've got enough resources uh, to begin 
uh, dropping down that barracks that we've, we've got going. Uh, the only thing is that we're missing out on a little bit of a little bit of wood at the moment. Uh, so we're going to make sure that we, we chop that up. Ooh, what's going on here? It looks like uh, I haven't done appropriate herding. So uh, got some villagers going a little bit crazy here. So let me fix that up. All right. So barracks should be up and running now. It is indeed up and running. And we're going to get that steel traps in. Now, keep in mind, we've already got Furia in from the home city. And our villagers are going to be gathering in overdrive at the moment. We do have that steel traps on the way. And uh, we're now going to be able to pick up that next uh, shipment. So economic theory coming in. So our next shipment after this is going to be a wood shipment. Uh, and that wood shipment is going to enable us to drop down even more barracks and even more houses. And it's really going to... Going to uh, to, to send everything into overdrive when it comes to our military you can see that we're at uh, five minutes 50 at the moment we've got our first musketeers out you know if this was a if this was a real sweden player i'd be you know, starting to push up maybe go up to this this uh, coin mine maybe down to this one as well starting to move around over on the map we've got plenty of resources at the moment uh when it comes to you know, how much we're floating you can see that we're we've got a substantial amount actually um and this this trading post is definitely helping out uh, with that, so the fact that uh, the, the trading post is up means that we're going to be trickling in more and more uh, resources because we're going to have more and more shipments coming in for us. So now we're, we're getting to the point where we're going to have to start shifting villages down onto coin because our uh, we're about to start dropping down raxes like crazy. So there's the first, there's the second. So now we've got a total of three raxes going up. You can just see how much we're starting to stack up those resources. So that we want to try and balance those out as best we can. We're going to be shipping in 300 coin uh, as our next shipment after this. Now, keep in mind, we've, we've sent in all of the real, you know, uh, the cards that we need to at this stage. All the rest of the cards uh, just really need to be coin or wood shipments. It depends on, on what you're feeling or, or what you're going to be going for. But uh, I think in this position here, it's quite reasonable if uh, if you just want to be shipping in coin shipments in or you know just, just wood shipments. Uh, not too bad either. So we've got all of our market upgrades at this point. So we're now going to begin training out of three barracks uh, with this build order. So pretty decent. We're also going to buy 100 coin, uh, 100 wood rather, so we can drop down our next house. And we've got those villagers in queue this entire time. Uh, so one of the other things that you can do with this build order is you can go for a five villager shipment. Definitely not a bad idea either, especially once it starts getting to this point in the game. Uh, and we're starting to reach that critical point now where we're uh, we're macroing quite well. So maybe we'll send in the 300. Uh, but we're about to get in a batch. It looks like we we didn't hit the batch. We got a batch of 14 out, so not too bad either. And considering we're at the eight minute mark here, and we've we've sent in all of these resources, we're not really in a bad position at all. Uh, we can even buy up a bit more, buy up a bit more wood. I, I encourage you to avoid. Uh, uh, avoid chopping wood. Wood is a very slow gathering resource, so it's much better to sort of uh, use use your coin or food and and then buy the wood up with that. If that's if you're not sending it in from the home city. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this look uh, into the first build order with the logistician. It's a land based build order. You can obviously do it on water maps as well. But let's dive in to the water build order now. All right, now let's get into the second build order. We're going to start by moving all of our villagers over onto the food crates. Hola, lo haré. Preparado. Sí. And bringing our explorer down to the trading post, he's going to be dropping down a, tr a trading post for us, moving villagers over, and we're going to make sure that we send a villager out to start herding nice and immediately. We're going to get our dog out as well, do a little bit of scouting, maybe even do a bit of scouting with our sheep as well. Don't be afraid on maps like this to do to do a bit of scouting with your sheep, uh, especially if you're up against a civilization uh, that isn't the Lakota or the Indian. Uh, because just typically with the, with uh, India and with the Lakota, they're, they're very likely to steal your sheep just because they've got faster explorers than the standard. And so as a result, they're going to just run around the map a little bit more. Uh, so I guess I'm a bit, I'm always a bit scared with the Japanese, obviously. Uh, definitely a bit threatening. So now we're going to continue moving out on the map. As I mentioned before, we're not going to be taking any treasures. We might actually just kill some... Uh, Guardians, just so that we get that XP trickling a little bit faster. So the deck that we're going to be going with, again, it's a logistician deck, so it's going to be the one v one water deck. And in this in this build order, we're going to be focusing on getting out a very nice water boom in the early game. Now, keep in mind, we do start with a market on this map. I'm not going to be utilizing this market at all in this build order because once again, I want to demonstrate to you guys that it is indeed possible to be doing this without uh, that build order. Or without that uh, without that market. And I'm also not going to be using these sheep either. Now, typically, I would be using these sheep just to age up a little bit faster. I'm not going to be doing that in this build order either. So we'll keep them down here by our trading post. Uh, so let's keep moving on. 
So already getting a, a pretty decent food income in already. So we're at a minute 36. So not too bad at all. Might just keep... you. Ideally, it sounds a bit silly, but you want to just keep shooting the turkeys and killing them underneath the town center because these turkeys are just going to run off. If you, if you leave these turkeys for even like 15, 20 seconds, they're just going to start moving, making their way across the map out towards here. And you might come back you know, in, in a minute or two's time and you might need food and all of a sudden you've got no turkeys under your town center. Well, I bet you, you're looking a bit silly now because you probably should have killed them. Uh, and so I, I'm even just going to go out now and bring these turkeys back in. You can already see they're in a bit of an unfavorable position just so that we can kill them underneath the town center, even though we don't plan on actually using them. So just doing that right there, I might even just shoot this one dead underneath the town center. All right, so now we're looking to age up. So we're going to be dropping down that logistician. There it goes now and moving all of our villagers over onto wood. With the exception of one who's going to come out over into the middle of the map and be dropping it down. Now, on most water maps, uh, typically they're going to have water on the side of the map, kind of like this. Uh, typically, you, you get uh, maps where it's it's somewhat linear of a, a water gameplay. And on a map like that, I encourage you to be placing your docks in the middle of the map, if not even more aggressive. It gives more or less space for your opponent to actually contest the water and allows you to just sort of control more of the map when it comes to the resources down the south. Send that sheep back over here as well. So we're going to be dropping down that dock. We're in position now. Ideally, you want to get as close to a fish as you can. So now dropping down that dock. And as soon as we pass the I and we head over to the O, that's when we're going to be sending in our first shipment. So we're going to be going with schooners. There we go. So schooners now coming in as the first shipment. And looking pretty good at this point. So we're going to be dropping down a house. Now, because we're not playing the Portuguese, we're going to be dropping down our house in base because we don't get a town center that we can actually defend the coast with. So it's a little bit harder to, to defend the coastline uh, with the, the Spanish. Uh, it depends how you play, though, because uh, I guess when it comes to the logistician, I would even argue that the, the logistician is probably stronger than Portuguese water. It just depends in, in the early game. It can be a little bit different. So let's get into the boat boom. We're about to age up. Once we age up, that logistician's going to come through for us. All right, let's drop down that 300 wood as well. So now immediately we're training settlers. We're also training a, a fishing boat uh, from the from the dock because the schooners has now come in and we're also going to be uh, using or dropping down a, another dock. We're going to be dropping a total of three docks down, adding them to a control group so that we can easily build more, more fishing boats. And there's the next one. So with that one, with that 300 wood that's come in, we're going to be dropping down a market. Now I know that I've got a market right here, but we're not going to be uh, we're not going to be using that market. So I just want to demonstrate that we can be doing this build order without the special uh, bonuses that this map gives us. Dropping down a a second house now. So once again, building this. I'm really hoping that he's not going to attack us. So we want to be getting the gangsaw upgrade. You can see how many villages we've got on wood. It's really really important for us uh, to maintain wood uh, so now sending in another 300 wood from the home city and with this 300 wood this is going to enable us to get all of our our fishing boat production up and running so ideally we want to get as many as possible go away mate i guess i'm attacking you so maybe i'm the one who should go away so even even though we're you know we don't have enough resources right now for fishing boats just keep on queuing them up uh ooh, that was a little bit crazy right there and ideally you want to be sitting on about 10 or 11 fishing boats before you start uh, training them up and the reason why is because you kind of need them for defensive purposes as well because you're going to be sticking them in your docks uh, now keep in mind we're at the five minute 30 mark here so we might now we might uh getting the gill net upgrade we're also going to continue queuing up our fishing boats now we've got that house ready to go making sure that we don't go idle in the town center either it looks like we're probably gonna have to move a few villages over onto the next tree line because this tree line is probably going to run out relatively soon and we're looking pretty sweet, I would say. Um, at, at this point in time, this is where the flex starts to happen. At, at around six minutes, your opponent is either going to be starting to look at you and think, hey, I need to do a bit of damage here, or they're going to be doing their own thing. And that's where you need to make the call on what you send. So I'm going to pause the game here, and we're just going to talk about that. If your opponent is pushing you on water, great. You keep your, your fishing boats in your docks, and you kill his uh, caravels, okay? You can send guards like advanced dock if things get bad. Uh, you can also send, say, uh, the improved building. Now, I don't have two caravels in my deck. That's definitely an oversight. I should be including that in my deck. I've actually, I think I use this in a team game. That's why I don't have two caravels or improved warships in my deck. So don't be looking at this deck and thinking this is amazing because it's not. Uh, so th those are the cards that you'd be sending in. If, if you're getting attacked on land, then you could be looking at sending in things like town militia. 
as well as improved buildings. Uh, and once again, uh, another card that you can also be using with your docks is Team Coastal Defenses. Ideally, you want to be using these Age 1 cards. Now, if you're not getting any pressure whatsoever, which is, you know, I, I'm up against Tokugawa here and he's still in Age 1, so I'm going to be going for Fish Market. Let's get to it. So Fish Market coming in now, dropping down that next house. So hopefully we're going to have housing space for our our continued production of villagers. We're starting to look pretty decent. So now I'm going to start transitioning fishing boats over onto whales. Uh, I'm, I'm moving each fish, each set of fishing boat out over here um, in groups of four. So even I'm moving groups of four out over onto fish as well because it makes it easier for me to uh, move them over to whales later. So now we're getting our next upgrade. So our long lines upgrade is coming in. We're also continuing to train fishing boats at the moment. So we're now at about 6.30 and we're not doing too bad. We've got 38 villagers here. So definitely pretty decent, I would say. And I might start just scouting out with my fishing boats just to the south, just to the north. And uh, and hopefully we're able to find a few more whales. It really gets... It, it's so important to find those whales nice and early. So there's another whale. So we move four fishing boats over onto that one. If we spot any more uh, whales down to the south, we'll move these fishing boats down here. I might even just preemptively move them down here because we're probably going to be finding them. Now dropping down another house. So dropping them down in the base is, is really where the key is. It uh, doesn't look like there's actually been any more that have spawned up towards uh, the north. I don't think we've got any more whales. Unless there's one hiding right here, I wouldn't be surprised. You know what this game's like. So now we've got... Uh, I think we've got all of... Do we have everybody on, on whales right now? There's our last whale uh, coming in. I think that those, those guys are going to be a little bit closer. So we've now got a very decent water economy here. We're going to be looking at going up to the Fortress Age very shortly. So we've got one more villager in queue after this villager. Then we're going to be looking at going up to the Fortress Age. We're still training a lot of fishing boats. So ideally, you want to be sitting on about 35, 40 fishing boats uh, by the time that you're going up to the Fortress Age. And you can see that right now we're sitting at... We're at 34 fishing boats in total. So not too bad at all. Our village is moving over to this tree line instead of down to the south. Ideally, I'd like to move down here. We're going to be going up with the covered wagon. So we should be up to the Fortress Age just before 10 minutes. And now in the transition period, this is where you want to be dropping down those military production buildings. So I am a big fan of going maybe even double or triple stable. Uh, I, I think it's very good with the Spanish. I, I love doing it. So we're just going to be doing a, a double stable here. So dropping down the two stables, we've got a whole bunch of villagers uh, that are collecting resources out here. Now I can go for a rendering plant. It's still it's very safe for me to, to do that. Now he has actually scouted. Oh my God, look how many Kermans he's got. That's, how do you even get three Kermans? Oh, it's got to be one of those cards from the home city or something, doesn't it? Uh, okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll let him off this time. And so at this point, we've essentially just stopped training fishing boats, and that's okay. Uh, because you need to keep in mind that these resources are, are finite in the sea. You, you do have whales that are infinite, but the fish are finite. And ideally, you want to sort of keep them alive for as long as possible. Keep them going for as long as possible. So I can queue hussars here, just in case my opponent is going to attack me. Ideally, though, I, I don't want to be making hussars. I want to be making lances and dragoons. So even with that, I, I will drop down a third stable just because of the amount of resources that I am generating. It is it gets so ridiculous that, you know, it, it is really what, what uh, you need to be able to manage the resources that you've got incoming. Now, with the covered wagon, the reason why we're going up with the covered wagon is because we might be going up with the town militia or we might send town militia. Keep it in mind, it, it arrives in 20 seconds. So it's going to enable you to do a double double pop of town militia if worse comes to worst uh but if if you don't face any pressure then as you guys saw i can cancel these and i can go straight up to the fourth age here without too much of a hitch and uh and quite a decent boom so you can see that we're we're now aging up so going up with the uh let's go up with six lances we'll pause the game here because at 10 minutes We've got 15,700 score. We've got an absolute huge amount of resources. Our second town center is going right down here. We've got Colonial Militia, which keeps us nice and safe in the base if we wanted to. Uh, we, we've we sent our both our back-to-back -back economic shipments. We had economic theory here that we could send as well. We didn't need to send that one just yet. Uh, but in addition to that, if we were under any form of attack, we could have sent in advanced dock or team coastal defenses. On land, we can send in the uh, town militia and improved buildings if worse comes to worse. And, of course, if there are extra TPs on the map, let's say it is the map New England, where you've got four trading posts and you've got water, then by all means, don't be afraid to start out with advanced trading posts as your first shipment and uh, and take some TPs before you get out onto the water. Fellas, if you think that I've missed anything, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, I encourage you to leave a like. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.